Hi everyone. Um, my battery is gonna die, but I've got hand dolly. I want to do a quick. Well, I'm gonna try it out. I'm not saying I can do it. Some pizza nails, but I'm not gonna be doing pepperoni. I'm gonna just be doing some meatballs because I haven't got the right colour for pepperoni. Um, I seen long hair pretty nails do this. It wasn't her creation, um, she recreated these from somebody else and I had to give it a go. So, I've got my base colour that I'm going to try and... Now, this might not work, because look, see how that nail's poking up? It just won't stay down, but I might just have to try and, I don't know, figure it out as we go along maybe. It's coming off, please don't come off. I think I'm just going to have to hold it as best as I can. Right, so I'm just going to get some acrylic. I'm going to pop it right there to try and hold on that tip. So that's where I want that first one to be. So that tip's kind of the same as the form probably should have done this with tips really that probably would have been a lot easier but they've done it with forms so I'm going to do it with forms as well so start building down the nail now I don't want it too thick but I need it to be the right thickness so um, that now doesn't come away from the form. This was a spontaneous video. I wasn't planning on doing doing one, but I seen these nails and I thought, oh, I, I need to go and try it. I'm hoping you guys can hear me okay because I do have my fan on. Right. So I'm going to have these as, l as long as I can, really. As long as I can get them. These are the longest forms I have. I don't actually have any other form. Well, I do, but they're shorter than these. These are lot the longest ones I have. I'm just going to bring this down the nail a bit more just to smooth smooth it all out I can file anyway so that's not a problem okay I will do the rest off camera because I think this is just going to take too long if I'm honest. Would have been much easier to do it with tips but I didn't really think it through. And by the time I thought, oh it probably would have been easier to do it with tips. I'd already started. Okay, that's not too bad actually. As long as it stays on, we'll be fine. So I'll do the rest off camera. So the nails are filed and shaped as best as I could. Um, it's really hard to do it on this hand. So I'm going to go in and start layering the cheese. I'm hoping this is kind of like an orangey, yellowy colour. I mean, it's showing up really yellow on camera. It's actually not. It's, I don't know, five shades darker than that. Which is weird that it's doing that. So I'll start with this one. So I don't really want it to be perfect, you know? 
Don't mind having like little drips and stuff like that. Have that bit poking out the edge a little bit. But I don't mind the cheese hanging off. That's what I meant. I'm hoping it looks like cheese. I really am hoping it does. Might just put some like dimples in it maybe. As it's starting to set. Just so then it does look like it's cheese dripping off. I think these nails are so, so cool. <laughs> Let me bring you this way a bit more. Is that better for you? And if I bring you in a little bit more. This is more probably like strong cheese because of the colour of it. I still want this bit to be in a point, so like a stiletto. Oh, I know I've left. Yeah, look at those gaps. So I'm just gonna just go across there. If I can. Okay. Cheesy. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit more because I kind of want this line to be a little bit more straighter. Don't know why I just said straighter like that. Yeah, I don't want it to be perfect. So like that, that kind of looks like cheese, doesn't it? Mmm, you know. So I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, so that's all laid cheesy it's all cheese dripping off I've had this was the color for like the crust but I've mixed it with some white because it was too dark so I'm just gonna do a little band now let me bring my monomer over here I can't see it a little band of the crust I want the crust quite thick like that Oh, these nails are so cool. Down the sides, just push that up slightly. Should bring it back down, actually, look better. There we go. I don't want it too perfect. Because what pizza is made perfect? What crust is perfectly shaped, you know? This is me winging it. I've never done this before. I've never even practiced it. So I'm just, just winging it, that's all. Might even bring a little bit down the nail. Looks better like that, actually, doesn't it? Okay, well those ones are starting to set so we'll have to leave that little one yeah I mixed some white in with that dark brown because it just wasn't the correct color that I needed but this color does look fine really for crust this is actually what I'm gonna have for tea it's pizza to take away Okay, do you reckon that looks more like an ice cream? <laughs> right, now this is the hard bit. So I need this brown, like maybe if I push her up a little bit like that, because I need to do some, um, I can't, like meatballs. So I do want them to be kind of round. So I'm just draining off the back of my brush just so I can mould it a little bit. That might have been too big. Look 
clean my brush out a little bit. So I'm just going to flatten it a bit more. There's one meatball. I'm only going to have two on this now because it is quite small. Well, they all, they all are really. One just there. Yummy. Do them on the rest. in the bottom of the pan now okay I'm leaving some room because we want some peppers on there and I might do red peppers because the green I got is too bright so I might actually chuck some red peppers on there instead Bit of glitter. Don't want that in there. I haven't got a 3D brush, so I'm using just my acrylic brush. Little finger. I mean, I might even be butchering this design. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Whether this is any good or not. Oops, don't know why I just flicked. Okay. Right, so we're just going to... I'm going to get some red... Oh, I've got some here. So I use this and we'll, I'll try my... Ooh. <gasps> no! No! I've ruined it. I have as well. How did I even... I didn't even realise I touched it. No. No. Okay, so let's go back in with a tiny bit just to put back on top of there. Okay, so I kind of ruined that a little bit, didn't I? Oh, I've done it again. They look really good as well. Okay, well, obviously there's going to be a bit of a mess up on one nail, isn't there? It just had to happen. I was doing it quite well as well. I might actually just see if I can just get another bit on there just to make it that look a little bit rounder. Okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere now, aren't we? Yeah. Right. I'm going to make some little, um, like, peppers with this. Okay, this where it's going to get tricky because, obviously, they need to be really, 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 really small. So I'm just going to try and use one of these. Oh, I need some more acrylic. Um, monomer. Just a little bit, though. Okay. So I, I haven't got a 3D brush, so I'm going to try and use one of these, one of these crappy brushes, and then I'm going to just use a dotting tool to try and manoeuvre it about. This probably won't go well, and I really don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to put one here. But what I want to do push oh push it in it's leaving a bit of residue on the yellow though and I don't want that you want them quite um a 
bent, if that makes sense. In the middle. Ah, there we go. So yeah, I just need to leave it to set and start to um, lose its shine really, so I can move it about. I'm just trying to clean up. So that's one pepper. Does it look like a pepper? Kind of. So let's do another one. Oh god, I just dropped it. Oh, and again. Get off my brush. They do look like peppers, don't they? And what I was going to do then is I was going to use my dotting tool. Push it right in. That's probably better with the dotting tool actually. Drain my brush out as much as I can. It's just getting it off then. I might have to do the rest of these off camera because we are going to be here all day otherwise. The only thing is this red is leaving like a yellow residue that I'm trying my hardest to clean off but it's a little bit difficult. So I'll do the rest off camera. So my food came, my pizza. So I've just had my tea um, but they're all dry. That's what they look like. Drippy cheese, peppers and meatballs and that's the the crust. So let's top coat because it always makes it now look better. Try and get everywhere with this. Make it all shiny. not the easiest to top coat it's all lumpy and bumpy but obviously it's supposed to be like that so I'm gonna make sure I'm getting in those nooks and crannies Getting it stuck. Try and get it everywhere. It's taken a while. Okay, just do that little bit of the side there. Right, I'm going to go in, oh, and a bit there. I'm going to go in and cure these now. Cured and all done. I used a no wipe top coat to make it easier so I didn't have to get in the nooks and crannies to get the sticky layer off. But what do we think? Leave it your opinions in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think, whether I butchered the look or whether you think I've done a good job. But yeah, that's what they that's what they look like. 
So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. So love them. They do actually look pretty cool. But thanks, guys. Bye.